is a liberal arts degree and what can it do for you? Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Dean for the College of Arts and Science at Oakland University, Kevin Corcoran. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Laurel. Is Oakland U primarily a college where people go to get a liberal arts degree? Well, the, the college was founded in the late 50s with liberal arts as its core, so even our professional school's students take a core curriculum that focuses heavily on the liberal arts. Those kinds of skills, it goes back to the Greeks actually, and the word liberal doesn't have anything to do with liberal and conservative. It has to do with liberal as in liberated. The free men and women, mostly men in, in Greece, were trained in these kinds of arts whereas the slaves were trained in technical skills. So this idea of being able to think critically about problems, analyze problems, work with others, et cetera, is at the core of Oakland's education for all students, but again, primarily in the College of Arts and Sciences. It used to be, when I went to college many, many moons ago, that a lot Me of people too. graduated with a liberal arts degree, were able to translate that into the workforce somehow, get a good job, and, and all was well. But there's so much emphasis now on, uh, even in high school, you need to do this or do that, a trade or mm -hmm. an engineer or, so what do you do with a liberal arts degree and, and you know how do we not scare today's high schoolers away from considering one? Sure and I think one of the things to keep in mind is we all know this you hear this all over the place that people don't do one job for their entire career anymore and even if they are in what appears to be the same job jobs change you think about 20 25 30 years ago how different every single job we have from medicine in other forms of health care to business, industry, communications for that matter. And so we're preparing people not just for that first job, but for that last job and every job in between. Uh, you, you ask what, what, what can you do with a liberal arts degree? Survey of Fortune 500 companies, CEOs asked, what are you looking for in new employees? And what are they looking for? They're looking for people with communication skills, verbal and written. One of the things you hear a lot from CEOs is, are blank, I don't want to pick on engineers or business majors or nurses or physicians, but they can't write. We don't understand what they're trying to communicate. That's at the core of a liberal arts degree. The ability to read and decipher text, that sounds like an English major, doesn't <laughs> it? Um, and the ability to work well with others, work in teams, understand different perspectives, that there are multiple avenues to solving problems. Those are the kinds of things that CEOs identify, and those are the kinds of things that are fundamental to a liberal arts education. So with a liberal arts degree, there is hope. You're a psych major, you're a philosophy major, you're a theater major. Your parents don't need to, to feel as though they're wasting their money. You're, you're going to be okay. I, I, I am a parent <laughs> of three liberal arts majors, and I am confident that they're going to be okay. I'll, I'll also talk about my own experience. I was a psych major and went on to be a psychologist. Uh, neither of my parents went to college. My father didn't graduate from high school. And I know through college, my father especially was very concerned about what I was going to do with this liberal arts degree. And probably about 15 years later said to me, I guess you did okay, huh? And even when it comes to, and money's not the most important thing, but certainly young people are focusing on a successful career that makes money. Uh, statistics show that liberal arts majors can also make a good living. Yes, as a matter of fact, that the, when you look across the trajectory of, of individuals' careers, by the time you get 30, 30 plus years into career, the lines between liberal arts majors and business majors cross so that actually by your late 50s, liberal arts majors are making more than business majors were. Good to know, interesting information. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Kevin Corcoran, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences for Oakland University.